Hello friends, today we are going to talk about negative skin friction. What is negative skin friction? And how to compute it? How does it affect the ultimate load carrying capacity of a pie? Very important to calculate the negative skin friction. Let's say you have a pie this pie is uh, embedded into the ground such that up to this certain depth it is filled up ground filled up soil. So if it is the filled up material and is the natural cohesive soil. So up to certain depth, let's say this uh, depth is uh, length of filled up soil mass and the total length of the pile is L. So L is the total length of the pile and uh, D is the diameter of the pile. Now this filled up soil is going to decompose over a period of time and uh, it's of cohesive nature. So it's going to settle. So if it is going to settle, there will be a drag force that will act over the pile shaft. And that drag force will be in downward direction. So how to compute the ultimate load carrying capacity of this pile? For that you will have to compute due to this filled up soil what is the negative skin friction. Let's say the properties of the filled up soil here Cf is the cohesion of filled up soil Cf cohesion parameter of filled up soil and here it is uh, the natural ground so when you apply the external load naturally here there is the skin friction and the property of uh, the cohesive soil is uh, undrained cohesion C and this is called unit skin friction you know it. So the negative skin friction if I call this uh, negative skin friction as uh, Fn, which is acting in the downward direction, how to compute it? So negative skin friction what is the drag force that can be computed and the drag force due to negative friction is QNF. Now this uh, CF is acting over the perimeter of the pi multiplied by 
it is acting over the length, this is the filled up ground, length is LF. So, P into LF is the area over which the negative skin friction Fn is going to act. So, if you simplify it, it is going to be P LF and Fn is taken as Cf. Here, the aeration factor is normally taken as 1. So, that is the formula you can compute uh, the uh, magnitude of the negative force that is acting. So, Q and F can be computed the, the drag force or negative force that is acting over due to uh, settling of the filled up soil. So, filled up soil, filled up soil gets decomposed. Normally, the natural material, grass, vegetation that is used to fill up the low lying area, and over a period of time, it uh, looks like that it is a natural ground. When you carry out the SPT test, you are able to find out that this is the filled up ground because uh, the uh, probe of the uh, in SPT the number of blows are going to be very, very less and once you come to this level, natural bed, then the number of blows are going to increase. Now, the value of QU which you have calculated by assuming that this is the total length of the pipe, how do you calculate uh, the uh, uh, ultimate load carrying capacity, you calculate by considering the skin friction and end bedding. Where skin friction, you are going to take it uh, this. Uh, you take it Fs, that is the unit skin friction into pi d into total length of the pi. So, this is the skin friction which you take it and Qe is uh, Qe into pi by 4 this FS is going to be alpha times Cu and this is 9 times Cu. And if you add up and substitute in 1, you get the ultimate load. So, what you have done, you have not considered the filled up sum. Therefore, the net ultimate load carrying capacity of this pipe should be calculated. So, the actual net ultimate load carrying capacity of this pipe is going to be what you have calculated as Q minus this drag force Q and F which is called the negative friction, negative skin friction this should be data and then the safe load we should not calculate we should not take qu but we should take qnu and the q safe will be qnu divided by a factor of safety which is as per is2911 recommended value is 2.5 or 3. So, you can just divide it. So, this part 
must be taken care of or else in negative skin friction you should not consider this part so this is how the negative skin friction can be computed and uh, it affects the performance of this so this should be taken care of wherever you come across filled up soil which is going to behave as a cohesive material and you can calculate it like this so if you want to solve a problem on this let's say the cf is a 20 kilo pascal so going to move in the downward direction and this cu is 50 kilo pascal and uh, the value of alpha is say 0.6 then the ultimate net ultimate bend capacity for that you can calculate the value of eu and then you can calculate or you can calculate the negative skin friction so negative skin friction is going to be what we had written the formula is the perimeter pi d into lf into cf so this becomes pi let's say the diameter is 0.5 meter and this length is 3 meter so then pi into 0.5 the length of the filled up ground is 3 meter and this is 20 kilo pascal so if you multiply it you get uh, this is going to be 10 30 94.24 kilon so this is the negative force that is acting in the downward direction and whatever QU you have calculated you will have to deduct this Q and L and get the value of Q and U so this is how the negative skin friction should be computed and that's very important if you don't take care of this part then uh, it might happen that your eye may fail thank you very much